Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another episode of the Matchday Lab series and it is Thursday which means we are back into the European action and unfortunately it's not the Champions League of course, it is the Europa League. Back in the Europa League for another season with the Arsenal. Hopefully this time around we can go one better and maybe even lift this title at the end of the season. We had a final disappointment didn't we last season against fellow Londoners Chelsea but GG to them. And they got themselves into the Champions League. So hopefully Arsenal can get themselves off to a good start. We haven't done so um, so far in this FIFA 19 game. As you can see, it is Frankfurt who have gone forward. And less than two minutes played, uh, they've given themselves a one-goal lead. So against the run of play, well, I say against the run of play, um, against what we would expect, that's for sure. Um, goalkeeper probably should have done better there, Leno. Uh, we'll be expecting more from Arsenal tonight, of course. Um, I was questioning whether to record this episode on PES because we have been playing um, Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 um, this week quite a few times. Um, but when I went to record it, they don't even have the German League in there, unfortunately. So we couldn't use Frankfurt. So I decided to stick with FIFA 19. Um, as I am recording this, we're still waiting on EA Access to actually release um, the FIFA 20 trial as well. So as once. Um, that goes live. I will be recording our new My Player series, uh, which, as you may have noticed, if you've been following me on Twitter or on Instagram, we are starting the My Player series with Sampdoria. So we'll be going into the Italian league with Sampdoria. Hopefully, get off to a good start there. In our actual manager career mode on FIFA 20, we'll be starting in the uh, the Championship in England with Derby County. Now, Derby County are my local club, of course. Um, so I thought I'd stick with them and Sampdoria are my favourite Italian team so we're going to be going with them and obviously for ultimate team we will be going hopefully with a full Arsenal team as well so wish me luck through that it's going to be um, a big grind in FIFA 20 this season but let's continue on with this match as you can see we are approaching half time here and it is still um, Stuttgart who leads Stuttgart? Oh, not Stuttgart it is Frankfurt, there we go, I will get the name right. Um, it is Frankfurt who lead and then two goals to nil. Arsenal got to be the favourites for this one. I don't think Frankfurt have had a, a good start to their German season so far. I think they've played four games and last I checked it was um, drew 0, won 2 and lost 2. Um, so let me just have a quick look actually. Uh, yeah, ninth in the league they are right now as I um, record this. Obviously Arsenal should have been starting the season better as well. Um, Unai Emery coming up with some questionable decisions so far. I'm really hoping that Granit Xhaka is not our captain tonight. And I don't even want him to be starting, if I'm totally honest. It would be nice to see Joe Willick starting. Um, I think Unai Emery says that Meza Ozil is being rested for tonight's game, which is just weird to me. He's only played one game all season and already he feels the need to be rested. Um, I think as soon as we get Ozil out of our team, the better. Um, he's just not good enough. Well, he is good enough, but he, his mentality is not good enough to play for Arsenal. We want to see somebody who can run the field and give his all for the full 90 minutes, which Dani Sabellas has been doing in the games that he has started so far this season. Sabellas has been absolutely outstanding and the perfect kind of player who we could get in to replace Mesut Ozil in that camp position, maybe. Um, and it also, it was nice to see Reese Nelson starting. I think Lacazette is out as well, of course. He's out until, um, I think, mid-October. I could be wrong with that. I know he's been holding a little bit of a ankle injury. Um, so he's going to be missing this game and a few games after it. So I think Aubameyang will be back in his main striker position. Whether we go with two strikers with Aubameyang and Pepe, I'm not entirely sure yet. I think it will be Aubameyang as the main striker. Then, of course... Pepe and Reese Nelson on the wings. Um, I think Kalasniats may be rested as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that one. I, I'm sure there was somebody else who's going to be rested tonight. Um, but I can't remember if, if it was Ozil and Kalasniats or Ozil and somebody else. We'll have to wait and see once the lineup is out. Um, it is an early kickoff as well, so don't miss it because you're not um, um, used to, what is it, a 5 to 6 p.m. UK time kickoff. 
Um, so I will be watching it over on BT Sport. If you've got BT, BT Sport, go ahead and watch the game. Now, I think there's a couple of other games kicking off early. And then there's the usual schedule about 8 o'clock. So I'll be watching the Arsenal game early on. This has gone live around 4pm. Obviously, I'm recording it before it's live, obviously. Um, but I will be making it up for... 4 p.m. and then hopefully around that time that's when EA Access is released so within I say two hours or so uh, maybe a little bit after the initial release of EA Access I will have a, a brand new series starting of that Sampdoria my player career we will be recording as soon as EA Access is live editing the video and getting it up for you guys so watch out for that if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and smash that subscribe button um, at the top right of this video, of course, I always have a little poll for you guys to go ahead and vote on, as is the case in all Matchday Lab episodes. And look at that, Arsenal have pulled this one back 3 3. After trailing three goals to nil, Arsenal have come back to um, level things up with Danny Sabellos once again scoring for Arsenal. The second goal in today's game, giving Arsenal a 3 3 scoreline. Uh, but like I was saying, there is a poll in the top right for you guys to leave your predictions um, who do you think is going to win will Arsenal come back with the three points in the opening game of the Europa League this season or will it be a bit of a shock result and will the German side um, claim the victory in their hometown uh, we'll be excited to see hopefully as I said we can get off to a good start but really we want to see um, a good performance but not just a good performance we want to see some good solid tactics um, some good gameplay as well from Arsenal because that's something we have been really lacking and we're hoping of course we don't have a hundred shots taken on us as well playing out from the back is really going to be bad for Arsenal throughout the season if we don't change things up so hopefully Unai Emery is going to be learning from his mistakes so far this season and we stop doing that stupid nonsense um, playing out from the back putting our defenders under pressure and then of course just doing that and putting our defenders under pressure it's keeping our attackers out of the game so people are already criticizing Pepe but to be honest it's due to Unai Emery's negative tactics and we're just not getting the chances going forward at least not enough chances as you can see the stats prove when Pepe is on the ball he can take players on so hopefully we see more of that in today's game I and mean, you may even get Pepe's first goal in an Arsenal shirt that's the hope at least uh, but thanks for watching guys I hope you did like today's episode and uh, leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't done so already and obviously leave your comments below your score lines below your predictions and don't forget to hit that vote in the top right as well so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace